today I'm going to share to you uh, this another stitch it's called the diamond stitch at the back it's just a row of double crochets and single crochets however in the front which is very nice you can see our show stopping diamond stitches so this stitch is very nice for variegated yarn or two-tone yarn even one color yarn is also very nice for this pattern okay so I will be using a five ply uh, milk cotton yarn this color is called a gen uh, ginger yellow and my five millimeter crochet hook I normally use four millimeter however this particular yarn which is also five ply with my other milk cotton yarn this uh, this is thick thicker a thicker a thicker strand so I'm using a five millimeter hook okay so I have here my chainless base foundation I actually opted for the chainless foundation you can also do the chain and a line a arrow or single crochet whichever is more convenient for you you can check on my other videos in my channel on how to do uh, the foundation stitch so for this one the stitch count should be any number by four plus three so this one the, uh, we have here 23 stitches okay so we will now proceed to the next row chain chain one and turn then double crochet on the first stitch and then just continue for this entire row should be all double crochet so just double crochet until we reach to the end of our row okay now we are now at the end of our row so there we go our row of double crochet then chain one and turn and then we do our single crochet on our first stitch and then we will now look for you see we have here our single crochet and the double crochet so we will look for one two three four our fourth single crochet because we will do our front post uh, tri triple crochet in this stitch okay so do we do a triple stitch yarn over twice 
insert our hook in our first in our first row of uh, single crochet the fourth stitch and then pick up a loop we now have four loops pull through two loops pull through another two loops and then pull through the remaining two loops so this is our second stitch for this row so we will be skipping the second stitch so we will do single crochet on the third stitch one two three so again we do single crochet then triple front post crochet at the fourth single crochet, uh, single crochet from the first row and then we skip one stitch at the back and then we proceed with our three single crochet okay now we do another treble on the same stitch which we did the previous treble so again yarn over twice and then we pick up one loop we now have four loops pull through two loops pull through another two loops now we have two more loops but we stop first we pick up we yarn over twice again and then we skip three single crochet and on the fourth we insert our hook pick up one loop and then pull through two loops twice and then when we have three remaining loops we pull through all two loops okay then we skip one stitch and on the following stitch we do our single crochet single crochet three times so actually this uh, diamond stitch isn't it quite complicated on our um, on this one two third row because once we already have our our V this the half of our diamonds it's actually easier when we do repeat on the next rows okay so we have three single crochet then we do again again our triple pick up we yarn over twice and then we insert how our hook again on the our last triple pick up one loop now we have four loops pull through two loops pull through two loops and then we have while well, we have two remaining loops we yarn over twice and then we skip three stitches one two three and then insert a hook pull through one loop pull through 
tulips pull through two loops and then when we have three loops pull through all three loops and then we skip one stitch we proceed with our three single crochet mm. okay again yarn over twice three wool to our previous three ball I mean insert our hook on the previous three ball and then pick up one loop pull through two loops twice then when we have two remaining loops yarn over twice then we skip one two three stitches insert a hook pick up one loop then pull through two loops pull through okay one two three Pull through two loops, pull through two loops, and then when we have three remaining loops, pull through all three loops. We skip one chain and we do single crochet three times. Okay, and then We do triple again, front post triple to the same triple, our last triple. And then, okay. And then when we have two loops, we are over twice. We skip one, two, three. Then on the fourth, we do our treble. Pick up two, uh, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, and then pull through all three remaining loops, and then we skip one stitch, and then single crochet three times. And then we do again our treble and then since we are already at the end of our row we pull through the remaining two loops we skip one stitch and then we actually have our last single crochet at the end of our row so with this count we have our single crochet at the beginning of our row and then we do another single crochet at the end of our row so there we can now see the half of our diamond okay so for the next row chain one and then turn we do double crochet for the entire row so for this uh, pattern our double crochet for the entire row is all entirely double crochet however for our single crochet 
except for the very first row in our base and our base foundation the the rows of our single crochet is uh, already includes our diamond stitch that's the row we do our diamond stitch so for the single crochet it's just easy just proceed until you reach the end of our row okay we are down to the last double crochet of our of our row then chain one and turn so now this row is a single crochet where we do our trebles at the intervals of uh, four, four stitches because we have our three single crochets and then the fourth is on the fourth stitches we do our treble okay so this one we do single crochet one two three okay and then on our fourth stitch which happens actually to be the center of our three single crochets Okay, we will do our treble. So we are over twice, and then insert our hook where we did our front post treble crochet. So this will be our common node, common node. So insert our hook pick up one loop and then pull through two loops pull through two loops then we have our remaining two loops we are over twice and then on the next node we pick up one loop pull through two loops twice and then pull through the remaining three loops we skip one stitch this one and then we do our single crochet three times and then we do our again front post treble crochet to our common nodes okay we pick up pull through two loops pull through two loops we have remaining two loops and then we are over twice we go to and at the next node and then pull through two loops twice and then pull through the remaining three loops and then at the back we skip one stitch and then we do single crochet for the next three stitches and then we do again our front post treble crochet
then pull through two loops twice we have remaining two loops yarn over twice and then pick up one loop on the next node and then pull through two loops twice and then pick up the remaining three loops we skip again one stitch and then we do our single crochet on the next stitch single crochet single crochet so there you have it you can now see our diamonds and then triple again the previous node and then pick up two uh, pull through two loops pull through another two loops and we have two remaining loops here number twice pick up one loop on the next node and then pull through two loops twice and then pull through the remaining three loops skip one stitch and then single crochet single crochet single crochet and then treble pull through two loops twice we have two remaining loops yarn over twice triple to the next node pull through two loops twice and then we pull through the remaining three loops we skip one stitch we proceed single crochet for the remaining three stitches so there you have it our diamond stitch next is just a repeat of our row three four five and six I hope you learn from this video tutorial and please like and subscribe thank you